rain, raining outside. It's my day off. And my wife's on vacation. Why don't you just tie me to a box spring that's connected to a lamp cord at this point? I came home from work yesterday. My wife, we're both off tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, don't remind me. We gotta fix the closet. I said, what are you talking about? Guys, I don't do closets. If you saw my closet, you'd say, my God. You'd say, I don't know what is, what's going on here. This is a portal to uh, Satan's living room. I just throw my clothes in there. My wife is so sick and tired of me, she throws my clothes in there. I, I don't give a shit. I'm like, a, do you ever see a dog at the park digging? Like insanely digging for something? That's me getting my clothes for work in the morning out of my closet. Anyhow, I'm like, what is it now? Can, can, I, can I like walk through the door? Can I put my lunch bag down? You understand? Uh, I say lunch bag, I, I'm so lazy, I don't even bring shit in from the house. Like water bottles, cans, bags. I just leave it in the fucking car. It's, it's great, a car's a great thing. You open the door, you shut the door, everything disappears. Look at that. No coffee cups. It's all in the fucking car. I get, get into the car the other day with my son. Dad, Dad, Dad your car's dirty. I'm like, oh, wow. Hey, uh, wh what are you, a detective? Yeah, no shit. I said, that's the way it's going to stay. I don't take a care of a car unless it's from pre-1970. You understand? These fucking disgraziato cars we drive. The, the, my, my service engine light comes on the other day. It's always got to happen like a month out from my inspection. Sometimes, I, sometimes I'm driving, my check engine light comes on. It'll stay on for a week, then it'll shut off. And I'm like, oh shit, let me go get an inspection right now. I'm like, I, my wife's like, you got it inspected last week. I said, I don't care, we'll get it inspected again. Get it an extra week out of this wreck. So what's wrong with the fucking closets? She wants to put insulation, tear out all the walls of the closet and put insulation in there because the closet, the closet's cold. I say, oh yeah, shut the door. I don't know. What do you do? Do you sleep in the closet? What do you do in there? You grab clothes, you get out, you shut the door. Who gives a shit? What do you want to install in the summertime? You want AC directed, directed into the closet? Yeah, I got to put a wood-burning stove in there now for the winter time? Get the, the shit out of here, guys. I, I'm like, it's my day off tomorrow. I wanted to, honestly, I wanted to roll up into a ball. Just start crying. Mm. I don't know. You try to make the best of it. We had a movie night last night. I'm here to tell you. You ever have a movie? I've picked so many horrible movies in a row that I've lost my privilege to pick movies. Okay, and do you know that I understand the deal with movies, okay? I can tell a shit movie just by looking at the year it was made.
Anyhow, I said, you know what? Let me go get ice cream. I said, you want ice cream? She's got to go. But this is a yes. Okay, it's either she says no, or it's this big drawn out. I'm like, do you want the fucking ice cream or not? Can I have coffee? I shouldn't say ice cream, ices. Ices, which is ridiculous to me. When you, now you buy ices that is just as, as, as expensive as ice cream. I said, how, what? Something's missing here. Like, uh, I don't know, the cream. I I made the, mis the the cardinal mistake of asking for mint chip. I said, give me, I said, give me mint chip. They have ices and ice cream there, okay? She gave me ices mint chip. It, when you put an ice in your mouth, like ice, fla like fla mint chocolate chip flavored ice into your mouth, expecting ice cream, I couldn't explain to you a bigger letdown in my life. I said, holy Christ and cunt. What is this? You know, you just have like that creamy flavor that you swirl around your mouth with ice cream. Oh my God. Mint chip, mint, mint chocolate chip. Are you kidding me? The fucking chunks of chocolate coming at you. It's like 3D cubes of chocolate. Am I going to tell you? I just got to, I got to eat myself to death. Man, oh man, oh man. I, I got li I got a pretty fast metabolism. I wouldn't mind cranking myself up to 600 pounds. I'm all about it. I don't want to hear any of you fat fuck 600 pounders crying. I said, you know, you know what, you, what kind of enjoyment you had getting up to 600 pounds? The sleeves of Oreos. You understand the, the Ritz crackers by the box. I have sticks of butter by the truckload. You're 600 pounds, you think you're using margarine? I've had it already. I've had it, that was a party, that was just those cupcakes. That was a bot, that was a, a, a package of ring dings. And by, by package, I mean, in maybe like a, a half a pallet. This is you sitting watching TV and peeling, peeling the swirly icing off the top of a fucking Hostess cupcake. That's why I can't eat them anymore. I got a Hostess cupcake the other day. Sometimes on the way home, I hit 7-Eleven. Bag of ring dings, Hostess cupcakes. Oh yeah. Remember when you used to peel, you used to be able to peel the ribbon off the top, the white ribbon, and you'd be like, ah, ah. It was like extra special. It's like biting the white part off a of candy corn. It's the same fucking flavor, but you think you got something special. You're like, hmm, wow. It's like, look at the size of the white head on the top of this candy corn. That one's mine. <laughs> Kidding me? Ah, man, my coffee stain has officially grown coral reef. Yeah, oh, you, trust me. Trust me, I'm cutting my lip on barnacles. Oh. Oh, man. That's hot coffee. That's hot coffee. I don't know. I go down in the ice place. We got this place by us. Ralph Sice. You know, whatever. I go in there, I said, who's hiring these chicks, huh? Fucking ludicrous. I said, what, what's going on here? Guys, I, 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 I've never seen, listen, they're young girls. I got to tell you, they're 17, 18. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I pop a boner? Um, 
And I'm like, what did you guys just leave the gymnasium? You had to see these asses. And in my mind, I don't know, it turns into, uh, it turns into that guy, that guy's music video. Who's that guy? I don't know. It's like a two live crew concert in there, guys. All right. And they're like digging for the ice cream and it, like they're digging and the ass cheeks are going back and forth. It's like that. It's, it's like that. It's like, it's, it's a Ralph, Ralph's ice twerking in progress. I was like, holy shit, am I the only one licking my lips in here? I mean, <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, listen, I go there in my pajamas, all right? My hair's all over the place. I, I just don't really care anymore. And I got my enormous slippers on. I don't know if I, you know this or not, but my wife got me like a size 18 from Amazon, right? These slippers came through the door on a pallet. I'm walking around with these slippers on. I look like somebody cut off Chewbacca's feet and I, I just stuck my foot right into the skins. And I'm like, well, hello, ladies. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just uh, masturbating. And uh, I'll have the uh, pineapple chip. What is What does my, my wife always want? Pineapple cheese, pineapple cheesecake. Uh, like pineapple what? Why don't you just get be normal in your life? Pineapple cheesecake uh, in a small. You ever see a small ice? It's one scoop. I say, why you bother? Why, why even? I don't know. Why even leave the house? I get a large. All right, I say, I say, why don't you go over there by that fucking ice cream bump and fucking Tom call Velvet into a fucking Home Depot bucket? Because that's what I'm talking about, baby. Anyhow, they're hitting the register. The asses are bobbling. I said, I don't know what to do here. What are you going to do? Oh, before I leave, I asked my son. I say, you want ice cream? No. I'm like, what kind of kid am I raising here? What kind of kids? My, my son says no to pizza and ice cream. <laughs> I said, this is just like the work of the devil. Come on. I said, what's going on here? So you don't want, like, sometimes I have chocolate, you know? I don't know, like, a, I don't know. I never have chocolate. I don't know what I'm even talking about. I'll offer my son, like, an Oreo or something. We're not allowed to have Oreos in the house anymore. I, there's, there's strict regulations on the foods that can come into the house now because I can't control myself. I mean, let me tell you something right now. An Entenmann's cake. If somebody brings over an Entenmann's cake, like my mom, I remember when my mom came through the door. She always comes through the door with something. It was a Carvel fucking flying saucers. You know, the one that's in like the bowling case. You know that case with three bowling balls that you roll around? She rolls in with the fucking flying saucers. Like they're all like individually in the bubble blister pack. And, and like the different colors. I said, holy Christ, it's like a carnival, Ma. You brought a carnival to the house. You pop that bad boy open. I mean, what's better than a fucking ice cream sandwich? Was UFOs, you lick the side. And remember, remember, remember when some, number one, when somebody put a, a Carvel into the, the freezer, you just created an, an, an act of crime against humanity. This is like, you took soft serve ice cream. You put it on that one. I want the UFO right out of the gun. Am I here to tell you? When it's when you when you bite it and it smushes, it gets all over yourself. Don't put it in a freezer. You know you, well, you know what happens when you put a soft ice cream in a freezer. It turns into hot ice cream. But what am I bitching about? I got this UFO. And you know how you lick the, the, it's the swirly part on the outside. It's like cutting your tongue like a, like a table saw. 
I said, I work that down and then it gets smooth. And then you're like, rrr, rrr, and then you're fighting. Like if it's a hot day, you're fighting the drip. You're like, ah, ah. I mean, it's like the end of a pano. I said, Jesus Christ, is there any better thing? And then you start eating that chocolate cookie too. Anyhow. Yeah, so I screwed up my back at work the other day. Oh, it's great. It's great. Yeah, I've been working with that for the last uh, four days. And then, of course, they, they call you down to it's parent meet. Meet the teacher night down at the school. That's that's always news. My wife likes to tell me like an hour before it's about to happen. Remember about the meet the teacher night. And you're like, you're like, what? What? Well, when is that? In a half an hour. You need to shower. Uh, okay. We go down to the meet the teacher night. They're like, excuse me, can you sit? You go, you go in there. First, I got to drag you into the auditorium. Okay, now you got to sit on bleachers. That is just, it's like sitting on a skateboard, if I'm here to tell you. It's, I'm like, you don't fit on anything. This stuff is made for kids. And then this fat bastard's got to come out. They got the podium there. He's got to come out. He's the head of the PTA. They say, oh, no shit. He goes like this into the, into the microphone. He goes, I'm, the, I'm so-and-so head of the PTA. I've been head of the PTA for the last 45 years. And I felt like going, no shit. Do you, do you understand when, when growing up, my parent, there wasn't a parent on the block that was in the PTA. All right. We're trying to raise drug dealers. That's basically was like everybody in my town was a drug dealer. And I didn't even realize it until basically, uh, you know, I, you get older. You're like, oh, it's, it's, it was normal to see as a kid. So you're like, oh, nothing, nothing wrong here. You know, nothing. Nothing going on here. And then you get older and you're like, oh my God. I can't I I, I was born out of a crime syndicate. So you understand that? And you were like in a heart of it. Like uh what are those? Oh, those, those are hay bales of weed wrapped in plastic in your basement. Oh, I see. What are you gonna do? I mean and now I'm like, oh boy. Cause I'm so fucking dumb. Let me tell you something. I, 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 I'm smart enough to understand I'm, I'm ridiculously dumb. So you'd get to that age sometimes. Anyhow, what were you talking about for crying out, Krim? Oh. So I got to hear the PTA guy. And I'm like, what are they selling? Because, listen, nobody comes out here like this unless they're selling something, of course. When you're in the PTA, you got to pay a fee. I'm like, imagine this. So now I got to be in this Hamish or PTA. Uh. And then uh, I got to pay to be there. <laughs> that's like, I don't know. That's like being in the band. And then, and then like paying to be there. Like, are you shitting me? I'll fucking, I'll take this tuba and I'll bend it into an ashtray. What are you going to do? The only reason why I ever joined the band is so I could blow farts right through the trombone. <laughs> I'd see... This is this is great. I'd join band and just be like, in the background. That's it. And see how many times you could do it until they throw you out. And then when they throw you out, they come at you, you're like... I don't know. And you run. You run and play the trombone at the same time. And then and then they take the trombone from you and you say, I didn't even want it. It's a fucking trombona. You mean to tell me you got nothing better to do? Huh? 
You want to throw a cover on the pool in your backyard? How about that? Season's over. Summer's over. All right? Anyhow, then the principal comes out. I'm telling you, right? I was like, this is my opportunity. You can always tell when the principal comes out. You know, they, they think they're like, they think they're somebody. Okay? And nothing bothers me more than when somebody thinks they're somebody. And she comes strutting out there and she addresses everybody like, you know, like you got to go up there and kiss her feet. Say, so, you know what? I should have opened the night with a good old fashioned fuck you. What did you say, young man? I got news for you. I'm not that young anymore. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting for that age when an old broad can't call me young man anymore. I don't know. Tell me not to not to, to, to speak up. Young man, I say, listen, easy E, easy E, easy E can eat a big fat dick. Oh, shit. That's right, honey, we're getting down. We're getting down. So leave me alone and close your fucking brown. Oh, she comes out, I don't know what she was saying. It was all like bap bap to me. And then she finally shut her ass. I, people think, school people think you got nothing better to do. They're really into that whole school thing. Telling us about the reading club. Everything's another dollar coming out of my pocket. You should ha encourage your children to join the reading club. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what? Until we got to buy them the books and they're like $20 a piece. I don't know. Right? I remember when I was a kid, the book club it was like $2 a book. You give me a dollar thirty something. It was always like a change, pocket change. Uh, it wasn't like a dollar ninety nine. It was always like a mm -hmm, two dollars and thirty six cents. Like what is this? Then your mother had to put that exact amount inside of an envelope. Do you remember that? I got my mother shuffled all around for seventy five cents. Well, that would only be three quarters. Seventy four cents. I mean, come on. Join this club, join that club. Your, your, your pockets are a bottomless pit. And we're here to like, I don't know, stick a vacuum cleaner inside of them. So finally they're like, you know, come on, we're gonna go to the, your, your, your child's uh, teacher's room. And guess what? You are gonna sit in the seat that they sit in. Like we just won a grand prize. I sat in the fucking in my son's chair in his classroom. I tell you what. I, by the way, walking through the school, I'm like, look at these floors. I said these floors were here. I said to my wife, I grab her by the neck. I said, you don't realize what old America was like. I said, look at these floors. It's those. Those polished, I don't know, like floors with the stone in them and the, and the brass trim that goes around. I said, would you look at these floors? You could come in here and, and, and try to and break a jackhammer trying to get these floors out. I said, these floors have survived children. Throwing shit on the ground, vomiting. Okay? I mean, just torture. Torture. These floors look like they're brand new. Oh, you get the janitor out there? Remember when they used to polish the floors with the floor polisher? You go to the, the mall and you see the guy? I just wanted to watch that guy. I, in my stupid kid head, I was like, look, something's spinning. And that's right. The floor polisher would spin like this. And the guy would sit here and I thought he had the greatest job in the world. And he'd have the cord and he'd have to manage the cord while he did this. And I was like, that's what I want to do when I grow up. You know? 
polish the floor. And then that floor comes out so beautiful. You say, look at these walls. The walls are just block walls that are never going to go away. This school is built to last. Okay. Then the tile was wall tile everywhere. Going up the stairwells, it was all this wall tile. It was yellow, like a lemon yellow wall tile. It looks like it was from the 1940s. And I say, I guarantee you go in the basement of this place and they have a pallet of those tiles just waiting, waiting for one to break. I said, everything in this school they have reserved for in the basement. I can already picture it. Because you don't, there's not one cracked tile. So you can't tell, uh, unless it was built that well that we never lost a tile or broke a tile over the course of the last hundred years. Because I know once a tile breaks, they got the old salty mechanic back there. Ugh. Gonna have to get a new tile from the basement. I would love to be that guy. And work on a building like that. Because it's like a building where, where people gave a shit about it. Yeah, I work on a warehouse now. What, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, what's the matter? You couldn't get rice paper together? To put this fucking dump around? I don't know. What were we fucking talking about? Yeah, the school was great. I don't know. You see the gymnasium floor? Polished, like, you know, that wood floor. It's been there forever. Ever. It's like... This is like the, the craftsmanship of like a bowling alley. And I don't know. I was just overwhelmed by the quality of the school because you just don't see quality anymore. And we're talking about a fucking school here. I try to tell my wife and she's like, <laughs> anyway, we go in there, we meet the teacher. What am, what am I going to tell you? I'm the la I, I think I'm the last white guy on planet Earth. That's all I'm going to say. The entire class was Spanish. Like all the parents were Spanish. You know, that's fine. It's just, I look at it and I say, oh, wow. Like, uh, I am like, like an alien in here. Hello, everybody. White, last remaining white person in copay. Glad to meet you. Uh, um... And I am a Republican. Thank you. Good night. I mean, I don't know. What do you say? Anyhow, I said, this is this is great. I was so happy that my son kind of looks like me, you know. And now I'm like, oh, man, he's going to get the shit kicked out of him. Let's be honest. He's the only white kid in the school. <laughs> How do you think that goes? Eh, maybe times have changed. I don't know. I don't know. So then I got to hear this teacher yammer on. I reached down. To, I'm at my kid's desk, right? And he's got his little pencil case in there. So what I do is I open it up and I slip a fiver in there. You understand? I know. Big thrill. You know what my son thinks of $5? I mean, he can't even buy Roblox, Robux with that shit. Fucking Robux. Don't get me started on that Hamish of garbage. Anyhow. So anyway, I mean, the teacher's going on. I, I write a little note in my son's notebooks. The teacher's like, the kid, the, the, there's kids there that are out of control. Somebody had the, the, had the wit and the smarts to bring like two and four year olds. And they're running around the back of the classroom like a jungle gym. No discipline whatsoever. I was so embarrassed for the teacher because the teacher's like, she's like, okay, and we're going to start the curriculum. And, and, and the kids in the back are like, <laughs> And, 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 and meanwhile, you know she just wanted to explode. And go, shut the fuck up, you dumb motherfuckers! Who brings these goddamn kids and how come there's no control from the parents? I said that the parents would turn around and go, ah, Jimmy, shh. Or like this. Grab the kid and get him the fuck out. Oh my God. Anyway, the, the teachers care so much. They really do. You have to take your hats off to them. They're, they're like so into their job. 
I'm like falling asleep. I'm like, is she serious? I said, this is why teachers are the biggest alcoholics you're ever going to meet in your life. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 I've known them. I've gone out with them. Okay. I've been out with a group of teachers to a bar and you have no idea. Okay. You give, you give an English teacher, like a guy, English teacher, like two drinks. He pulls his ball bag out from his zipper. You ever do that? Look, I got chewing gum on my pants. Come on. One of the funniest things you can do is pull your balls out from your zipper and just, uh, you know, walk around. And what's that? You get arrested these days? What a crime. You can't even pull your balls out. Imagine women can walk around with their tits out. All right? I got to admit, a dick and balls is probably one of the most disturbing things you can see. <laughs> Who's with me? Anyway, I don't know. Then we get done with this fucking bullshit. And she's like, well, it's a, it was a pleasure to meet you. And a, as always, it's a pleasure to have your child, your children, children in my class. She goes, now I would like to direct you out in the hallway where you all of your children have done a project just for the parents tonight. I'm like, all right, great. I go out there. What's this? It's like a... Uh, Paper plate on the wall, and on the paper plate, the kids draw their face. And you got to look for it. You know, like, oh, okay. Well, to, judging by this is the only paper plate with white paint on it, I say, that would be my son. Anyhow. So, then, you know, uh, below it was an essay. You know, what's your favorite sport? You know, what's your uh, favorite food? And at the very bottom, it says, you know, what you'd like to be when you grow up. So I'm thinking, okay, here we go. Uh, astronaut? Race car driver? I mean, lawyer? Doctor? No, it says the cashier at a Chick-fil-A. My hand to Jesus. Said, uh, all right. You know, I turned to my wife. I said, I guess we'll be paying for the home that he puts us in. And that's all, you know. Well, I guess we'll do a reverse mortgage on the house. And uh, yeah, oh, that's it. You spend your whole life making money, trying to make money. And then like the, 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 the last dying days, it's like the government tries to vacuum it out of you. <laughs> Isn't that a terrific world we live in? It's just fantastic. Anyhow, so there we go. <clears throat> we haven't even gone to Chick-fil-A. I went to Chick-fil-A once. This is what I get? I don't know. I don't, then, then, then the next day, my, I come home. I'm like, all right, this will be a like, relaxing day. You know, we... we uh, whatever and my my wife uh, uh, Max has soccer I said when soccer when seven o'clock at night seven o'clock at night I wake up at 2 45 in the morning okay we're talking about a soccer game that goes on for an hour so eight o'clock I get out of there dot Eight, seven o'clock. I'm already in bed. Do I have to tell you right now? I said, "What the fuck is going on here?" I said, "All right, we'll take him to soccer." I don't know. We go to soccer, and I'm sitting there with the parents, and they split the kids up into a scrimmage. And they start playing against each other. And this one boy, a little black boy, scores three fucking goals. I'm like, holy shit, though. The kid was, like, taking his time. Like, he, you know, you know, some kids, they get the ball, and they're like, ah, kick the ball, and sometimes they get a goal. This kid was, like, faking this guy out, going around, looking at the field, like, looking around, faking this guy out, and then, boom, kick this incredible goal. I was like, holy shit. And he's on my son's team. I'm like, this is awesome. This is great. He's like tearing this shit up. I was so fantastic. 
And then they, uh, so it, it's 3 0. And they, they separate the kids after the goal and whatnot. And you see the, the losing team, they, they're actually huddled up like this. And then my son's team, of course, they're all like, I don't, kicking the grass, looking around like this. And the coach goes, hey, guys, look at them. They're game planning. What are you guys doing? And the little black boy goes, their plan ain't working. <laughs> oh, my God, I lost it. I don't even think any of the other idiot parents heard it. But I was cracking up. Oh, my God. I almost fell down. It was fantastic. Yeah, and I felt bad for the kid because his uh, his mother was on the phone the whole time. You know, she want Listen, I, I get it. I get it. Listen, I get it. She's on the phone, right? Like this. And I was like, the boy would score and then look to his mother. And... She's on the phone, so I, I I was I felt bad, so I said to her, I say, hey, I said, is that is that your son? Is that your son? The uh, and she goes, yeah. I said, oh, I said he's playing really good, and she goes, why did he score a goal? And I was like, well, he kind of scored three, you know, <laughs> you know. I I know Instagram is pretty pretty good, but uh, you know, your kids over here basically making the Olympic team. You might want to pay attention, Mom. And it was in that moment that I realized, I said, this is why this kid is so driven. Because Mommy doesn't pay attention to him. I said, so this is like, what's the formula? I watched my son and he's like, oh, was I mean, no, my son, my son's not too bad. He's not too bad. He actually did score a goal uh, uh, last season. Uh, and no, he does. He does well. But um, yeah, I said he's he's looking for mommy's attention, approval, interest. And so maybe this is this is the thing that you, how you should treat your children, you know, like total shit. Because I got news for you, a lot of the kids that I knew that were treated like shit growing up, they're kind of successful. I don't know, Callahan. It's a gun. It's a fucking gun. It's on the floor. Guess what? You stay there. Want to land on the shelf? <laughs> you try that. Reporting for duty. Shut it off. Disingenuous. Shut off of the scanner. Turn it back on to have some additional background noise and absolutely no use to the show whatsoever. <clears throat> and just like that, we're scanning for crimes. Oh, the the other thing at the at the parent teacher conference, the teacher says those, and we're about to embark on learning cursive. I was like, what? That's right, your children were gonna be start learning cursive, writing in script. I don't know. I'm looking at it. I'm like, I, I felt like raising my hand. I was like, when does the, the bloodletting start? Who the fuck writes cursive anymore? This is like, this is like a completely unnecessary skill. Can, can we get welders in here or something? What, uh, why don't you try, try teach these kids how to weld or something? We got kids coming out of school that know how to write in cursive. I think I wrote in cursive when I left school. I don't think I ever wrote cursive again. And, and just in the shower, I try to do it on the wall, you know, just for fun. I'm like, remember this bullshit? And you try writing in cursive. I still got it. I, my G's, my capital G's, they need a little work. You understand? My Y's, you know, not the best. So why, why are we teaching cursive here? This is ridiculous waste of time. I remember when I when I was a kid and I learned cursive, I thought I was hot shit. Oh yeah, you have no idea. I went into my my father's truck once and I saw his pad where he'd like my father was in road construction. He had a pad. He would write things, and it was written in print. And I was like, <laughs> dummy doesn't even know cursive. 
And then I got out into the real world and I was like, oh, nobody uses cursive. I was so disappointed. I said, this can't be. I said, watch me wow them with my resume. You write it in cursive. That's right. And it ends up torn up into 20 pieces in the bottom of a trash can. So it's like, wh why are we doing this? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Teach me like important things that you need to know how to do in, in life. Like hide the credit card bills from your wife. That's right. I bought this her shifter. Okay. Do I got to tell you to $850? I intercepted my credit card uh, bill from the mailbox. I called him up. I'm like, come on, we're going paperless. How many times have I got to tell you? That's it. I took it. I put it in the bottom of the trash can. Like her, her shift to what? Never heard of it. That's it. That one bill we got rid of. You ever, you ever come home and your wife's got the credit card bill in her hand? Turn around and walk out. That's all. And go to your local bar. That's what guys don't realize. When you when you walk through the door and your wife's holding a bill in her hand, you just walk out of the house. Come back, I don't know, 12 hours later. You gotta wait till they fall asleep. Then you then you walk in. That's all. I don't know how far how deep we are here, but we're 40 fucking two minutes in, guys. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you about a bad game. That's a good game. What are you talking about? It reminds me of this time of year, guys. I'm so excited right now. LJN. Oh my God, he's gonna play an LGN game? JN game? That's right. And guess what? It's one of the greatest games of all time. I'm telling you right now, I don't know what it is about it. It is. We're here to tell you. What, what am I here to tell you? You're gonna need a bigger boat. Jaws, baby! Picture, picture time! Hit me! It's picture, picture time. Oh, he needs a controller. Tap into the Edison line. Pipe through the Sansui 1010. Charging atomic batteries. Kill the lights of attrition. And move you into prime time position. Oh. oh, guys. Let me tell you something right now. I know all the music in my head. I haven't played Jaws. I can't tell you how long. I can't tell you how long. We are not leaving here until that fish is dead. I, rem I remember all the music in Jaws. Remember this? Remember the uh, secret level, special level? Da -da 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, well, what was the music when you would go out on the boat, right? Uh, it would go, and then you go in the water, the water scene go. You're done, but you're not done. You're a filthy liar. Come on. At this point already. Okay. Controller out, controller in. Oh, baby. Listen, we've been playing Nintendo, man. I got no problem with that. I honestly don't. I love it. Guys, especially this time of year. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Nintendo any time of year, but I mean, come on. Take me to the J's, baby. J, M, M. There was something so simple about this game. 
But for some reason, yeah, I, I just couldn't put it down, and it was so exciting. You know why? Jaws had um, a final boss. And if you think about it, we were just coming off Atari, ColecoVision. Nintendo was fresh and new. There were... It's like my wedding music. You think about it, the only boss I could think of was like Saxon, maybe. Oh, here we go. But yeah, it was the final boss. Like you played Super Mario Brothers, sure, you had Bowser. But Jaws wasn't too far away from that. Or you played Mike Tyson's Punch Out. It was Mike Tyson. When you played Jaws, you had to get to a final boss battle with Jaws. And I remember beating Jaws. And it was like one of the coolest things. I'm going on and on. 1987, LJN. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Here we go. What do we need? We need conch shells. Shit. Hold on a second. We're blowing the speakers, guys. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Guys, the whole idea is what do we got to get? The transponder, right? We got to get at least, well, I don't know, 10 conch shells? Oh, it is one! Ow! Come on. Oh yeah. It can't be 10. Here we go. You gotta stay in that deep water. You know what happens, guys. Shit. How nostalgic is that music? Oh my god. Come on, where are the conch shells for Christ's sake? I got three? I think I'm kicking ass too over here. Give me the conch shells! Damn it. Oh shit, yes! Whoa! Alright, that's not Jaws. We know that's a conch shell though. Oh yeah! It's a mini. Oh, the bonus scene! Oh! Oh, we can slow down and speed up, that's right. Oh, take that, bitch! On the way out! No, 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 come on, come on, come on! Oh, there goes all perfect score! Oh, shit! Oh, oh! Damn it! Oh, jeez, this thing goes on and on! Come on! Number is 18, come on! Oh shit, we got 12 shells! Oh, transpond the time! You can now track Jaws with the receiver. That's right. But now we go back... Oh shit, there's Jaws. See, right now we're not strong enough. Ow! Oh! oh shit, Jaws in the house. Basically, you gotta avoid that cocksucker at this point, because we're not really strong enough to do any damage. Come on, baby, conch shells in the house.
shit. Let me tell you something. This game can get hard really fucking quick, man. And I can never figure out if you were on a timer or if it's the amount of enemies that you kill that gets you back to the ocean. Well, not to the ocean, but to the boat. All right, come on. Okay. Whoa. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. This is where we power up, baby. Oh, yes. See, now we get power level two. So we're stronger now. If we go back, we still got five shells. Let's go back. Come on. Oh, shit, we did it. Aha, we're power three. I think that's what we need. We need more power than that. No oh, shit. I need more shells anyhow. All right, let's go. Let's give him a shot. Okay, here we go. Remember this? Oh my god, what a game, guys. Guys, the show's ordained by God. We might be getting into a battle with yours. Gotta take him to the middle of the, the waters. God almighty, what power level do we need? Oh my god, my fingers are killing me. This is where you needed the turbo button. The Ness advantage would work out here. Shit. Guys, I gotta check my battery life here. We're almost dead. Let me do a battery swap. <laughs> Give me a second. Guys, this is ridiculous. We did a battery swap. We're playing Jaws. Oh, Ness Advantage would be killing this guy right now. Guys, we almost got him. I didn't think we were powered up enough, but we almost got him. Oh, I'm getting nervous now, man. Get this asshole out of here. Guys, we almost got yours. I can't believe this. Oh, come on, don't end! No, it's gonna end! We got him! No! 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 Oh, shit! No! Oh, my God. Oh, they, they know we almost got him. They're trying to fuck with us. going up Jesus I'm Nerva I'm Nerva I got this bitch I got this bitch oh my god now what oh, oh. <laughs> yes yes watch out guys I'm so psyched Come on, come on, come on, bitch. He's gotta come right in at us, right? We gotta use a strobe? Where's he going? Oh, guys. We gotta get right in front of him. Here we go. This is the, this is the one. Ah, shit. Guys, look at the parallax scrolling. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Oh! Damn it, we 
we missed. You're gonna cut right? Damn it. Guys, you think about it. When you play this game, you're Quint. Did you ever think about that? Come on! Jeez, one more. Come on, give me one more. Guys, my ass is sweating. Here we go. Come on! No! <laughs> Guys, Jaws is fully powered again. What are we gonna do here? Listen. Listen. That's what we call shocking. Do you realize you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization? And you better believe that. With the 4K face! We'll see you next time.